What's up everyone? It's Steven, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about hyperlapse. Now I'm gonna give you a brief explanation of a hyperlapse, and I'm gonna give you a couple examples of what a hyperlapse looks like. Now, what exactly is a hyperlapse? This is essentially a time lapse, but the camera is moving. Now we've all seen a time lapse before. It's when you have a stationary camera, and that camera is taking a bunch of pictures back to back to back to back. And when you put all those pictures together, it looks as though the picture itself is moving. Now when it comes to hyperlapse, hyperlapse is a type of time lapse, but instead of the camera being stationary, the camera is moving. That is really the only difference between a hyperlapse and a time lapse. With a time lapse, the camera is stationary, and with a hyperlapse, the camera is actually moving. Now when I first thought of this video, I thought it would be cool to try and shoot something that would appear as though there would be an endless staircase. And that is exactly what I did at first, but in my head, you know what? Let me show you what I was talking about at first. Here is the endless staircase. So as you can see, the staircase is endless. I set everything to a loop so that the stairs would just keep going and going and going and going. However, after I edited everything, I looked back at it, I wasn't as satisfied as I thought I'd be with it, so I decided to go back to the drawing board and create a different type of hyperlapse. In the hyperlapse I wanted to show you, I wanted to show how you can just basically go through different types of surfaces, basically go through walls, go through the grounds, go through just about anything and just make it look almost as seamless as possible. Now the only issue I had with the hyperlapse that I'm about to show you was stabilization. If I was able to use a gimbal, the gimbal I have is currently out of commission, things would have looked a lot smoother. And because I wasn't able to use a gimbal, I had to go everything handheld and that caused things to be not nearly as perfect as I would have liked, but I was still happy with the end product, especially because this is something I've never really tried before. So on that note, here is the second hyperlapse that I decided to shoot. As you can see, both hyperlapses are different, but both of them aren't that bad in my opinion. I think they're both pretty decent. So yeah, that's a hyperlapse for you. I hope you enjoyed looking at both of them. Now if this is something you enjoyed and want to see more hyperlapses in the future, or you just want to know exactly how I shot those hyperlapses, leave a comment below. Now be sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well, because you don't want to miss out on any future videos that I put out. And on that note, I'm Steven from Dare to Capture. Catch you in the next one. Peace.